Hello guys, welcome back to the another video. In today's video, I am going to describe or explain what is exactly the hardship fund and how you can apply. And after applying, like within one to three weeks, they give the, you the outcome of the application. And I believe like most of the students are receiving the hardship fund for in order to support their living costs. Many of the things are covered in that application, but I mean in that uh, hardship fund, but you can apply and I will provide you the link of that application in the description. You can go and apply if you are the University of Essex uh, student. Any of the student who is studying uh, the undergrad or the masters in the UK, they can apply for the hardship fund and they have to apply with university email address i believe uh, once you will apply for the application you will come to know what details and what kind of the documents you have to give them so that they can provide you the fund for, uh, in order to support your living cost your food cost or, and uh, other cost like traveling uh, equipment uh, or internet bill and uh, or the rent accommodation most of the uh, things are included in that but you have to apply so that you can get a uh, maximum benefit from them once my outcome will be declared i will share my experience and application process now let's start uh, the process what exactly uh, the hardship fund is and how you can apply so this is the university of essex hardship fund application form and what you have to do exactly just go through with this page i will provide you the link in the description reimburse for the strike action this is not the full details you can cover from there here read the full terms and condition carefully and watch the bank statement video before applying okay so a student can expect the response whether a request missing evidence or with an outcome of their application three weeks after submitting their application so i believe like they will give the outcome within one to two weeks or they have returned like within the three weeks they will comply so in order to check the conditions you have to click on that and it will be downloaded and how to apply the process is there here it is written all all funding application for 22 and 23 must be submitted via black bullion this is the separate uh, portal so we have to come on this portal once you click on that it, it will reroute you to the different uh, website blackbullion.com and here you have to apply like you have to first register yourself because i believe you are the first i mean first time applying for this so you have to register here uh, just a simple process so before uh, applying the black bullion you sh must watch all these things like uh, how to submit the bank statement and create a black bullion account that uh, we have rerouted over click by clicking over here so if you haven't and you click the funds tab and select the hardship fund button uh, after rerouting on that page and also read the guidance follow the instruction to complete the online application form and submit all the required evidence as outlined on the guidance guidance document please also watch the gui video guide before below before submitting any bank statement submit your application and evidence so we have to provide all the documents and some uh, bank statement as along with it and how to submit the bank statement they have given the proper video of that so you can watch it and provide that in bank statement proof so other support of uh, hardship fund and there are different kind of the a scheme are available like scholarship bursary or other financial support you can go through with that but before that you must or you should apply for the hardship fund in order to get some amount so let's see the term and condition for, for that once you download it will be downloaded and we'll see so this is the university of Essex hardship fund 2022 and 2023 so the aim of the hardship fund to remove the unexpected short-term financial difficulty and assist a student with so what kind of the assistant you will get with this uh, uh, i mean the short term financial difficulty and the student with the food money supermarket voucher or the voucher uh, towards on the campus catering outlet energy support you can get travel bus rail card or the petrol cost you will get community university student uh, society or the clubs uh, support you will get accommodation or the rent you will get the support from them equipment like it equipment or it or that is laptop or internet support you will get or the child care child care cost you will get so this fund cannot under any circumstances be used toward the tuition fees so tuition fees is may allowed nahi hai. Uh, like you cannot apply for the tuition fees you must show that you have made the adequate provision to cover your fees and will be able to cover your remaining cost should be made an award so university of essex tuition fee is not included in that but you must uh, 
terms and condition eligibility you can un you are an undergrad or post graduate student so both can apply for undergrad and post graduate student including the, including the post graduate research student can apply you are studying a full time course or the substantial part time course so any can apply the full time or the part time course student you are in uk or eu or international student register including provi <coughs> provisional or conditionally at the university of essex for the academic year 22 or 23 so anyone can apply the eu student uk student or even the international student you have made arrangement to cover all your fees and make adequate provision to cover your living cost but you but are now in demonstrated need of the financial support as a result of unexpected exceptional changes in the finals so if you if you are requesting support for the child care or your child children must be aged 11 years or younger and you may apply for the maximum of up to 3 children so if you are like requesting support for the child care then your child must be aged 11 years or old year 11 year or younger and you may apply for the maximum of up to 3 children so if the person who is dependent and having more than 3 children they won't be able able to apply for uh, apart from that three children and the age of that kids or the children should be uh, 11 years of old so if you are a, a final year student undergrad student you must submit your application and evidence at least 4 weeks in advance of the hardship fund closing dates so you must uh, apply before the 4 weeks of end of your course so substantial part time refers to a student who is registered on a part time program that is at least 50% of the full time equivalent program so international student who are on a 2 year for a uh, student visa are expected to have demonstrate that they have adequate financial provision for their studies as part of their visa arrangement that is the having enough funds to cover the course fees and living cost however they are eligible for the hardship fund if they can demonstrate that an unexpected exceptional change in the financial situation outside their control has led them be in the situation significant the hardship uh, hardship and require financial support so over though although like we know that we have provided uh, the proof to the uk government that we are self funded or we are eligible we are not eligible but still they have uh, still they are providing the support to the international student as we because of the uh, uncertain or the exceptional change in the financial situation student who are not eligible for the scholarship regardless of meeting the above criteria student who do not fulfill the definition and eligibility given above student applying for the funds to cover the period of intermission that is not due to the medical reasons student who are not in the attendance and not on assessment only program student whose course is sponsored by an employer so they cannot apply student who are on a distance learning program they can also not uh, apply like they are not eligible who students who are on unsubstantial part time or the short time courses so the part time or the short time courses like maybe they are having the, some condition for that they won't be uh, eligible for that student who are studying through the university of essex partner like kaplan university of essex online or they are also not eligible for that student on the higher or degree apprenticeship apprenticeship program or the courses they are also not eligible student whose planned and end date is in less than 4 weeks of the planned closing date of the hardship fund they are also not eligible for this program evidence in order to provide the evidence uh, all the evidence uh, must be clear to read or the format of the all the documents should be in this pdf is much convenient to provide and should be in english definitely it should be in english and you must ensure that evidence displayed in the language better other than the english is translated before submitting it as a part of your application so the documents uh, evidence type you have to provide that the bank statement every financial account that uh, partner or the home. so we have to provide the bank statement proof of extenuating external funding rental agreement or the mortgage statement proof of registered child care setting cost and how to apply just to ensure you meet the eligibility criteria and create an account on black bullion select the fund and below are the instruction follow the instruction 
so the cost award and conditions so living cost and the food cost that is up to the maximum of 200 in either money or the supermarket voucher so it could be given it could be given in any of the way like either 200 pound of money in your bank account or the supermarket voucher or the voucher towards the camper care, campus catering outlets and the maximum amount of up to 1500 of the full time or 750 for the part time includes the combination of these costs so any amount from 750 to 1500 can get students can get so living cost energy cost that is a 200 for supporting energy bills living cost that is also the 200 to, in order to support your living cost and living cost community cost that is also 100 pound in order to support your university su clubs or society anything accommodation cost is uh, approximate to 800 pound you can get and equipment and international internet access that is the 350 i believe and uh, for the internet you can get 25 per month and child care cost you can apply for maximum that is a 750 per uh, per per child per academic year to contribute your child care then we, you will get receive your payment so payment will be only processed when we have completed your hardship fund assessment once it will be completed and payment will be usually processed within 10 days and award will be paid via BACS to your nominated bank account as stated in your application. So the bank details or the bank statement you will provide to them, they will give you the money in your bank account, the one you have provided to them. So the closing date you can see post -grade course 52 weeks. Oh, these are the eligibility dates you can see. and the suspension during a period of approved leave of the absence unless you are intimidated due to the medical reasons so are you currently a student yes which institution university of essex university of essex next your university email or student number so i don't have university email or yet so you have to provide your university email and uh, pr id number but because i have already registered with my student id number and the university of essex email address so i won't be able to create any other account because i don't have the any other university email address or the student id number because i have already registered but if you apply or like you if you will supply this university email and the student id number most probably you will you won't be facing any difficulties or any kind of the trouble to fill the application and i wish you all the best to fill your application and get the maximum amount the uk government or the university of Essex providing to in order to support your financial circum circumstances so that's it for the video hopefully see you in the next one bye bye